you've got to win the match to stand a chance here. And let's be clear, Russell capable of beating anyone, anytime. The only problem for him, exactly the same goes for Zhao. So, Zhao first in. I reckon Brazil has to win 3 0, doesn't he, to win this group? It's 3 1, then it looks like it'll be decided on a high break. But of course, Zhao has it in his own hands because he knows that a point, i.e., two frames, and he's in the final. Four. And already Five. he's looking good in frame one. He's played great stuff in this tournament. He really has. It's continued today. Very entertaining, unless, of course, you're <laughs> sat in your chair watching him. Yeah, his first well. frame, his very first frame of the tournament. He did that kind of thing. He looked really rusty. After well. that, he's been brilliant. So that mistake came out of nowhere. And what a boost that is for Brussel. Massive, yeah, because, as I say, he has to win the match. And it looked already as if frame one was over from what we've seen from Shazington. It looked over, but it's not over. And Luca Brussel, more than capable of winning quickly himself. Of course, he won his second match today, 3-0, against Lu Haishan, having lost to Zhao Gudong 3-1. Already, this is looking very promising. All the reds Eight. in the open, as long as this red goes through the gap to the middle. Nine. Quite a narrow window to get on the pink. Fifty. So this group heading for exciting climax potentially because as it stands right now there's still three players who can win it By the way, Corin Wilson will return for the final in the commentary box. Great to have his thoughts today. Now then, this looks uh, like it's gone wrong. 23. Still has a potential pot, but more difficult than the one he intended. And of course, at this stage of the group, Gonna make every chance count really. Twenty. Uh, it's a great recovery. Yeah, even to the extent that the cue ball checked off the ball cushion to just avoid the green. Yeah, of course he lost to Jiazing Tong in that UK final, but very impressively, because that's a long tournament, the UK, it's nearly two weeks. Very impressively he went straight to Clan Didno for the next event, which actually the Scottish Open, we won't get into why it was in Wales, but anyway, straight there the next day, and of course had to play.
plough through a lot of matches there, and he did so. He beat John Higgins in the final to win the title. So these are the two players who are qualified for the champion of champions already. The other six all vying to get in. 27. And there's a player in South Wales who will be hoping that one of these two, either Zhao or Luca, lifts the trophy later on. That's Lee Walker, the world seniors champion, because he badly wants to be in the champion of champions. And if there's a repeat winner tonight, hey presto. 34. Thirty-five. Plays that shot so easily, that shot with bags of running side. 42. To widen the angle of the cue ball off the top cushion. Well, he's OK for this one. Both of these have such a lovely, 49. easy way about them around the table. They created great excitement at the Barbican in York in that UK final. Of course, Luca wasn't a new face. He'd already won a ranking event. He had been in the doldrums a little bit. He'd fallen down in the 40s in the world. 56. But, of course, now back in the top 16 at number 12. 57. Shouting Tong was in first, missed very unexpectedly that red to the right corner. Zhao needs a draw, remember, but uh, of course if he loses this frame, he's got to win two of the three that are left. 63. Yes, if Brazil can win 3 0, he would have six points together with Zhao Zintong. But he would get the nod and go into the final because his frame difference would be slightly superior. 80. Yeah, so one down, two to go. It's going to be Eight the Barney two. rubble to continue. Not to beat, Luke but Brussel 82, 82 from play. that miss unexpectedly from Zhao Zingtong. Luca Brussel can still win the group and he leads 1-0. breaks he's on the brink 101 for O'Sullivan he's got a frame on the board look mighty good in doing it 
What a way to open your account for the season. I get the feeling it will not be his last trophy this campaign. Luca Bissell looking to win this match 3-0. If he does, he'll be the winner. He'll be in the final. If he wins 3-1 as it stands, Xiao Tong will be in the final because the two of them will be tied with Xiao Gudong, but Xiao Tong has made the highest break of 1-3-8. Xiao Gudong, therefore, cannot now qualify for the final by our calculations. Tell you what, on the other table, Lu Ning most certainly can. He's just gone 2-0 up on Pang Junzu, edging the second frame on the blue. So Lu Ning needs one more frame, and then he can prepare himself for the title match. Yeah, it's, uh, he's broken free in that group, hasn't he? You know, we had all those draws early on. Those three matches all drawn, but of course he beat Bingham. Yeah, looking good, as you say, for the final. Yes, we caught a glimpse of Luning in his first frame against Pang Junzu, which he won with a break of 66. Second frame, lengthier, scrappier, but it went the same way. Just to clear up what I was saying, I said if Purcell wins 3-1, Zhao Sing Tong will be the group winner. That's unless, of course, Purcell, in one of the other two frames he would have won, makes a break over 1-3-8. <laughs> so it really is on a knife edge. It's asking a lot, of course, to just pull out a you know 140 plus, but. He wins 3 0, that doesn't come into it. And he's in Whoa. again. Wants the cue ball to hold up, and I think it's going to. The Belgian bullet hitting his target. Now, this is one of those shots that on your screens looked quite simple. It's anything but, especially with hampered queuing. It is such a, an acute, narrow entrance into the middle pocket. That gives you a, a better idea. He's got nothing to play with whatsoever. The target is minute. Did really well there. It didn't look spectacular, but that was a tough pot. Thank you. 
11. Nineteen. Brussel played twice in the afternoon session. He lost his first match 3-1 to Jagodong after winning the opening frame. His attitude in the second match was exemplary. Yeah, he didn't get the best angle, did he? That's why, look at that, he screwed directly into them, trying to get into them. Didn't like the angle he got to come off the cushion, but still, it was a great effort. 22. 22. That's zip, it really is. Had the cue ball on a zip line. Yeah, it was the previous uh, shot, he just he sort of winced as he played it, he knew he wasn't on it. Now, where's the cue ball? Look okay. Sell 22. Throughout the tournament, when he's been involved, Jazen Tong has played as though he's not got a care in the world. But winning world ranking titles is not easy. The opportunities don't One. come along too often. And now he's got a, a tiger by the tail in Luca Brussel. What a great pot that was. And a really beneficial bump off the middle pocket with the white. Well, yeah, the difference in this match is he's playing someone very similar to him. Brussel, a very natural talent, great long potter, confident player. Again, to get into the reds. Well, another effort to open things up that doesn't seem to Five. have quite worked out. But he's uh, just laying down a marker here, isn't he? You know, he's saying, I'm going to go for my shots. He's maybe going for this one along the rail. Big shot. Big shot Six. from Luca Purcell. Could be big trouble for Xiao Zing Tong. Thirty. And all of this started when he was a little bit loose. The concentration slipped on quite a simple red early on 40. in the first frame. Will he come to regret that? Still might regret that. Little flick. 21. Left him nowhere here. Can he just get through to this red? Shaking his head. Clearly, really confident. Any chance he can pot it, he'll take it on. He's just really annoyed. Not on it. The red he's looking at, he has to believe he can pot it, not hope he can. You have to think he's done the right Look thing the there. Cell in terms of playing 20. safe. Maybe not the best safety shot, but I think the, the choice of shot was spot on. Yeah, but if you if you're gonna open them up against Zhao, cannot afford to leave anything on. Turning into one of the best long potters there is. But how's he feeling now? Because he's been had everything thrown at him in this match. 
We'll see in, the, in this shot. You'd fancy him to get this normally. Ah. Things have just changed a bit, haven't they? OK, he's not left him in, but... And I'm not saying that was an easy pot, it wasn't, but he's knocked so many of those in over the weeks here. So this time Brussel looking to make sure he doesn't leave any sort of chance. Thought about that, trying to work out a spot where he wasn't leaving reds on. Suddenly, the imperious Zhao Zintong looks just a, a tad fallible. Starting to feel it, understandably. While Luca Brussel mulls over this, I can tell you Pang Junzu is just about to take the third frame from Blue Ning. Yes, Pang, of course, can't win that group because he's drawn his first two matches, but a little lifeline for Ricky Walden, who plays Stuart Bingham last, if that ends in a draw. Seems still two of the most complicated so groups we've had the whole event are these two. <laughs> it's unbelievable, but it's true. It really is true, folks, honestly. Yeah, I reckon if that finishes a draw next door, Ricky so. would have to win 3 0 against Bingham. And he'd be the group winner, so a, a route for him. There's definitely a route for Brussel. He's back in. 55 to the good with the blue, so not that much more to do here for 2 0. Spotting some wonderful balls. 82 break in the first frame. Nothing major in this one, but some really good pots nevertheless. But not quite over the line just yet. 80. Brussels lead is 61. Five reds are left, but consequently 67 points on the table. Yeah, good table for Brussel, obviously. Especially now, <laughs> his potted frame 90. ball. Obviously a massive element of safety there, but with the scoreboard as it was, worth attempting the pot as well. So, Jiaoxing Tong requires a snooker, otherwise it's 2-0. 
And yeah, it seems to me Zhao is finding out what it's like to play someone like himself. Confident Potter, natural talent who goes for their shots. That's what's happened here. Brussels definitely taken the game to him and it's working so far. And if it is 2-0, then the next frame is huge. If Brussels wins it, he's won the group. If Zhao wins it, <laughs> it all comes down to the last frame where Brussels would have to make a break over 138. <laughs> so it's on a knife edge. Now, though, you would assume if the red goes in here, this frame is in the books. Careful with that black. <laughs> any fouls very impressed with how he's played yeah. the match as I say he's come out playing the sort of gunslinging snooker that can make anybody nervous and suddenly Zhao not finding his target with the long pots so big big third frame to come if Purcell wins it he's in the final Three. Six. So job done as far as the first two frames are concerned. The third is a huge one in this group. Luca Brussel leads Chao Zing Tong. Breaks. He's on the brink. One on one throw, Sullivan. He's got a frame on the board. Look mighty good in doing it. What a way to open your account for the season. I get the feeling it will not be his last trophy this campaign. Final day, the two final groups, the winner of each will play in the knockout the final, frame. best of five, Luca who's it going to be? Well, if Luca Purcell wins this frame, it will be him on frame difference. Jazzing Tong was a big favourite coming on, he just needed a draw, of course he could still get that. When he won the Championship League just after lockdown in 2020, he needed the last frame against Ben Wollaston. Not only did he win it, he won it with some brilliant snooker. And he conjured up something the same here.
So this is the biggest frame of the day on this table. Yeah, I think it's the biggest frame of the tournament so far because whoever emerges victorious out of these two will be a big favourite in the final. And now, of course, the burden of pressure switches firmly back onto the shoulders of Brussel. Well, I think Luca is one of those, he knows what's going on, he'll have looked at it. And if he loses this frame, then it looks like he'll have to make a break over 138 to, to not only win the match 3-1, but to beat the high break that was set earlier by Zhao Zigtong. Well. Well, let's see how Zhao is feeling now, because he's been hit with all sorts this evening. Six. Seven. He's getting closer to securing his place in the final. Of course, there's another match to come there, but if he beats Wang Zhongzhu, then be Ning taking his place. And you can see uh, 57 30. in front, 75 on, so not that much more to do. Could still be an all Chinese final, of course. 20. 21. Not as played. 28. I think the red closest to the cue ball does sneak into the middle pocket. It's missable. Well done. 29. We can confirm that Lu Ning is our first finalist. Beat Pang Zhengju 3 1, so. On seven points in the group, near the Ricky Walden or Stuart Bingham can get to that. So Lu Ning is in a ranking final with a chance to win a title here this evening. 37. Of course, Walden and Bingham will still play their match, so there'll be a, a wait for him. But uh, it's a great achievement. It was a tough group, had three draws early on, but he beat Bingham. He's now beaten Bang. Yes, after losing in two ranking event semi-finals, including the UK Championship a couple of years ago, Lu Ning goes deeper into a, a world ranking tournament than ever before. Forty-four. That is no good unless a set has been left, which I can't believe it has. It's a useful lead. He doesn't want to push the boat out. If he's got something very difficult on, he would be well advised to just shut up shop, get another red safe. Gao Xintong, 
51. So 51 is the lead. This has been in terms of quality and drama and tightness. One of the very best groups of the entire tournament. And how timely is that? We know that Joe won't be playing safe off that red close to the left hand side cushion. That one and the red close to the right hand side cushion are firmly in his favour. But with balls down table now, has to be careful. Gap through to this red. Oh, there was. Just looking at what sort of kiss he's going to get. So it's about the next shot, really, for Zhao. If he can get back in, then looking like 2 1 and his favourite again. Brought that safe right off the cushion. Ooh. Nervy stuff. Not the most penetrating safety, that. And what's more, the table is becoming a little more agreeable for a counter-attack. 
from Brazil. Still, a couple of awkward reds. Three, in fact. But the other five are now in mid-table, begging to be potted. Frankly, Dave, not close. No, although the ready took on his run safe. There's another one here to this left corner. Again, we've seen Zhao earlier on in the event. Earlier on today, knock these in as if they're over the pocket, but there's a lot of pressure on now because of the stage of the group. Let's see if he gets this one. If he does, he's a big favourite for the frame again. This time it's in. What? Made a lovely noise, didn't it? So, back in with a good lead as he attempts to kill it off, and then, well, Brussel have to win the last frame, but he hasn't potted the blue. I was going to say, we'd have to win the last frame with a big break. But this frame isn't over yet. friendliest table but it's friendlier if you're at it than sat there okay he's got a good lead but it's out of his hands over the years in the championship league we've seen some Eight. extraordinary clearances I remember one from Mark Selby against Stephen Lee down at Crondon Park it defied belief that's just one of many would be right up there with the very best given the circumstances no. given what's at stake maybe even the best if you're just joining us Brussel needs to win this frame to reach the final against Lu Ning well he did the right thing of course trying to bring reds out but it, it hasn't finished as he would have liked he's not on one 40 final will be played on this table straight after this match because the Bingham Walden match on table two that can't affect things now look at myself 40 and what was what a an awkward table for the player chasing is no more Yes, the two reds close together are. Good friend to De Zhao Zintong. And Abrasel, 38 adrift. 67 on. Really does have realistic hope. Miss Blue, the the double kiss there. Zhao's under it. Yeah, I think that ready missed in frame one. I think that was just a bit casual. But since then, he's shown definite signs of nerves. Understandably, having come this far on the event, it could all be snatched away from him. Well. Wow. Staring down that cue ball. but it looks like he's still on the yellow. For a moment, it looked like he'd be snookered. Yellow, yellow ball, thank you.
Remember, this is day 21, the last day. Luca Brissell hoping this is the last frame of the group. If it is, he's in the final. Gaozing Tong's had a few chances already to kill this frame off, which in all likelihood will put him in the final. Four. Yes, and for all their panache and pizzazz, it now comes down to grit. Nine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it didn't quite come as far as intended. See all the long stuff coming out. Thank you. It made a difference to the shot. So, 29 in it. Yeah, that's the thing with the extension. It just affects your timing enough to make a wall like this missable. It's a thin clip, but this red does pop. One. Good news, bad news. Good pot. Nicely on the pink, but he didn't want to knock the brown into that vicinity. Plus, no angle on the pink to get on the two reds. Look at Russell Sub. Effective safety, but red on cushion, brown on cushion. Beth greeted with delight by Zhao, although he will need both reds now, of course. Well, he 
knew as the red was running around the table he'd be lucky to leave no sort of pot on at all. But as Phil says, Zhao now needs both reds. Here's one of them. One. They can give out all kinds of stuff. If he potted the yellow, he would then need the last red plus a colour. Is it worth, in his mind, he's thinking, to get another high-value colour tucked up nice and safe? He's usually such an instinctive player. Now, this delay tells us two things. One, he's got an abundance of options. And two, the situation is critical. Three. Cushing's on three. Well, Chow is certainly favourite with the brown safe and the lead he's got. Just needs red and the colour. Good Brazil just allowing Thank you. referee Rob Spence to check in case there's any calls of miss. How much of the red you can see. Cannot afford to leave this red on. If he does, then that's probably his chance gone. Yes, with the last red and any colour, Chow will leave Brussels, leaving at least, or needing at least one snooker. Not easy this, not easy. Especially for a left-hander required to use the rest. Thank you. Wasn't it the same postcode, Dave? The great Potter. Missed that by a mile. And look at the, the position of the balls at the end of it. There's no justice. Yeah, there may be a gap, actually, but, yeah, he didn't get close to the pot. I'm to play a slight swerve, and, again, it's, it's not leaving the red on, isn't it? Well, it's another chance. Better one this time, you feel. Again, no rest needed after what happened on his last visit to the table. That doesn't inspire confidence. He 
Yeah, I told you. He can't believe it. Some of the balls he's knocked in today can't kill this frame off. Now he's hoping the brown is his saviour. a little tighter to that blue yeah the red uh, didn't go past the blue obviously but what an <laughs> extraordinary finish and of course uh, there is still potential for another frame but if Xiao wins this one then it looks like he'll be the group winner because he's got the high break wow foul and a miss Luca Brasol six yeah, didn't get too close to the red did he it's going to be going back for sure Attack, same Foul. result. The miss. Look at myself. Yeah. Not a million miles away from a free I'm ball, sure that. Green was. No, and too much more of this. He could end up needing the brown himself. Both this carries on. That. Yeah, okay. Two attempts, remember, at the red, both with the rest. Both unsuccessful. OK. Yeah, Luca. Ooh, in off. Foul. Red on to the middle. Himself. Last night, on the verge of winning a group, Sean Murphy missed frame and group red on a break of 62 the balls didn't forgive and they're not forgiving Zhao here well so now it really is all about the brown and as it stands they'll both need it Six. Played so well, so freely entertained us. Made those centuries. But it's come down to a very scrappy, nervy, edgy, tough frame of snooker. And it's out of his hands. Eight. And the angle off the green to dislodge the brown exists. Eleven. Well, what an escape this is going to be if he can take this out now. It's narrow little angles to the middle pocket. Well, incredible, Phil. Fifteen. The first red that Jan missed with the rest, that was pressurised. The second one, I can't believe. Twenty. He's thrown this away. Luca Purcell, who lost his first match, was chasing the game. That man was the favourite all day long, the way he was playing. But Luca Purcell has beaten Luca him 3-0, and Luca Purcell is Thank in the you, final Tom. of Thanks the Thanks Championship you. League to take on Lu Ning. What a performance. He had to win 3-0. He won a very dramatic...